Morning, everyone. Well, after two plus weeks of postseason play, the IHSA Boys Basketball State Tournament is down to its final four in each class. Three area teams making it to this year's semi state round Leo, Blackhawk, and Southwood all looking to punch tickets to the state finals down in Indianapolis on Easter weekend. And we're going to start our night up in Elkhart, Class 3A semi state, number nine, Leo. Taking on number five, South Bend St. Joe. Lions making their first ever appearance on this stage. And it didn't go well early. Down three late in the first. St. Joe's J.R. Koneshny tickles the twine from the top of the arc. Makes it a six-point Indians lead after one. Second quarter. Starting to pull away. Koneshny forces the turnover. Other end. Pull-up jumper. All 20 of his points coming in the first half. Put St. Joe up 12. They lead by 16 at the break. But no quit in this Lions team. Third quarter, here they come. Zach Troyer cuts the lead down to 13. Later in the quarter, more from Troyer. Big game from the big fella. 17 points, nine boards. That bucket cuts it to eight after three. And in the fourth quarter, they kept on coming. coming. Davison, no from deep. DJ Allen there for the board, the stick back. He had 13. It's a five point game. Later on, it's down to three off the Koneshny miss. Allen to Xavier Middleton. He was huge defensively in the second half. Big bucket there. Three point play ties the game. But St. Joe would answer. Cole Hotvich from deep. Three of his 15 puts the Indians back up four. But that's when Blake Davison took over. Struggled shooting the ball for most of the game, but he came up big when they needed him most. Steal the other way for the bucket, cuts the deficit in half. Then in transition, he was 0 for 7 from 3 up until this point. But shoot or shoot, baby. And they shoot in the clutch. That gives Leo a one-point lead. St. Joe would tie, but time left for Leo. And what I tell you about this man being clutch, Davison, banker. He had 17. Lions take a two-point lead with just over a second to go. St. Joe gets one last look. Koneshny, going to be a good player in college, but this shot, not even close. And that'll do it. The Lions come all the way back from down 16 to win it. 61-59. They're headed to state for the first time in school history. Never doubt Blake Davison is what goes through my mind. He has hit so many big shots for us for four years. And I just told him, stay aggressive. He wasn't getting shots to drop early. I said, Blake, you don't give up. You keep staying aggressive. And he did. And what he told me after the game was, I got you, coach. The coaching staff and my teammates believe in me. And they give me all the confidence I need to shoot. It's unbelievable. It feels amazing. And just knowing we have the grit to do that, I mean, that's just it's just amazing to feel that way and on a team. The emotions are unreal. I mean, I, I don't even know how it feels. It still kind of feels like it didn't even happen. I mean, I'm just so excited. I think all the guys are just so pumped up. I've talked to the guys. I said, this is why you work the way you do. Um, you spend all those hours that you do. And to get an opportunity to play for a state title, um, most people are never going to get that opportunity. So we understand how grateful and how blessed we are. Man, what a moment, what a game. The Lions will face Silver Creek in the 3A title game at Bankers Life Fieldhouse, April 3rd at 5 p.m. Blackhawk hoping to join them there. They're in the early game at Elkhart earlier today, taking on Blackford. Braves looking to punch their second straight ticket to the state finals. And uh, this pretty much set the tone early on here. Very first possession of the game for Blackhawk. Caleb first. That's pretty much how the day went. Blackhawk off and rolling from there. Zane Burke, the drive, finishes at the cup. Braves take a nine-point lead before Blackford even got a bucket. But they weren't done. Callan Wood, two more. He had 20. Blackhawk takes a 29-13 lead after one quarter. Blackford trying to hang around. Luke Brown, game high 34 for him. Moved into fourth on the all-time state scoring list. Finished with over 3,000 career points. Heck of a career. That bucket cut it to 10, but that's as close as they would get. Blackhawk led by 15 at half. That dunk from first made it a 19-point game in the third. First finish with 20. Burke, he had a team-high 21, including those three right there. Braves up 23 after three. And then in the fourth, so many weapons on this team. Marcus Davidson, smooth step back. He had 17 as well. 
Blackhawk runs away with this one. They're going back to state. 88-61, your final. Extremely gratifying, especially after last season, the way that ended. You know, it was obviously disappointing for everyone. And so uh, to be able to play a full season this year and be back at this point, uh, headed back to state, unbelievably proud of our guys. These guys have invested so much into the game and into one another. And so uh, obviously for us as coaches, just a very proud moment. It's a lot of fun, like you said, to be able to go again. And so uh, we're just really excited and excited for the opportunity. Um, to just keep playing the game of basketball. We're super excited, really thankful for the opportunity after it was taken away last year. So, you know, we're making sure to make the most of each and every day we have with each other, make each other better, uh, not only as basketball players, but as people, too. I believe that's 16 straight postseason wins for the Braves. They'll play Park Heritage for the 2A title on April 3rd, tip set for 130 at Bankers Live Fieldhouse. In Class 1A, Southwood back in semi-state for the second time in the last four years. Of course, they played Blackhawk the last time they were there in 2018. Pulled off a big upset in that game, trying to do the same to Couts this afternoon. Uh, defense optional early in this one. Carson Rich, lefty knocks it down, ties the game at 22 late in the first quarter. Turnovers were an issue all afternoon for the Knights. Mustangs making them pay for those mistakes. Kale Wireman spinning and scoring. Couts takes a five-point lead into the second quarter. Southwood not going anywhere, though. Rich doing everything he can. What a tournament this young man has had. Two of his game-high 30 points right there. He had 18 in the first half alone. Then good ball movement from the Knights leads to a baseline jumper for Cole Weiner. He finished with 20 on the day. That bucket put Southwood up one with five minutes to go in the first half, but they wouldn't lead again after that. Couts finishes the half with a flurry. You see the slam from Cooper Schoon. Eight-point lead for the Mustangs going into the locker room, and they would slowly pull away in the second half, led by Cole Wireman's team high, 29 points. You see him put it away right here. Magical run for Southwood, but it comes to an end in semi-state. Couch wins this one, 86 to 70, your final. You know, you gotta have dreams in life, and, and these kids had a dream to, to go deep in this tournament, and you know, they did everything they could to fulfill the dream, and to see these guys play at this level was, was just really a blessing for me. I was really proud today. I wanted to win, but I was also very proud of our kids getting to this point and, and playing counts that tough. And, uh, you know, they didn't let us down. Couch just went out and they, they won. They played a great game. A heck of a run for the Knights. They finished their season with a 17-11 and 11 record.